Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to install and configure Windows Admin Center on Windows Server or Windows 10. So are you ready? Let's get started. So what is Windows Admin Center? So actually Windows Admin Center is a remote management tool for Windows servers. Okay. So it allows you to configure and troubleshoot servers from web browser, okay? So first thing first, let's download it. So normally you should go to Google and type download Windows Admin Center. Okay, here we go. And you normally the first links will lead you to this page. We, I'm gonna download it from this link here. Here we go. So as you can see, it's getting downloaded now. So as you can see here, it's about 78.9 megabytes okay so we'll wait for the download to be completed okay so now we can run it so let's see okay so we have this wizard here so I'm gonna accept the Microsoft software license terms Okay, so I will go next. Then we can send some diagnostics data to Microsoft. So here I will just choose the required diagnostic data. And here I don't want to use Microsoft Update. I go next, next. Then by default, this web based application use this port. 6516 but you can change it if you want so I will stick with the default and I'm gonna install Windows Admin Center okay so here one more thing the first time you open windows admin center you will have to select certificate okay so let's uh, check this box here open windows admin center and let's hit finish So as you can see here, I get this uh, pop-up window, which offers me to select a certificate to authenticate to localhost port 6516. So I will just hit OK. And here we go. This is the web-based Windows Admin Center. OK, so let's get rid of this pop-up also. Here we go. So this is the main interface of Windows Admin Center. So some extensions are being updated. So you can just say yes if you want them to be updated. So in this main interface you have actually here a button plus add that allows you to add your servers and here on the right you see that uh, some extensions are being updated so first thing first let's actually connect to our Windows Server 2019 
so I will hit this add button here okay so I can add or create resources so I'll choose servers and I will add it okay so by default you can add it using a server name but here I just use standalone server so the only thing that I have is IP address so can, I can enter it here so the IP address of my Windows Server 2019 is 192.168.1.55 okay and here I can use uh, the Windows account if I have for example Active Directory or I can use another account to this connection so let's use another account and here I will enter the credentials to my server so of course I have to enter administrative account here we go so can, I can add it with credentials here I forget the I because administrator and let's add it I can save the credentials so now the servers is being added to the Windows Admin Center okay and here we go you see that server has been entered so I can connect to it just hitting this link here so it's connecting to my Windows Server 2019 here we go so I get an overview of my server I even get the notification that the server has a reboot pending okay so let's see what I can do with the server so I can restart it I can shut it down I can enable disk metrics I can com edit computer of course refresh it so this is my server name this is the version this is how many RAM it has okay and the different processor that exists on my server and I can also have some graphic about CPU about the memory usage and about the Ethernet but first thing let's change this view or the theme of this uh, Windows Admin Center so you go to this gear here on the right and you go to personalization and you can switch from light mode to dark mode so let's choose the dark mode okay here we go and I can return back to my uh, Windows server here we go so this is the interface I get the operating system I get the notification okay and also the graphics that I showed you so you can see here on the right the utilization of the CPU the RAM and also the disk and here you have the different search tools so you have here some extensions related to Azure Azure Hybrid Center Azure Backup and Azure Kubernetes but we don't need that so I'm gonna show you how you can get rid of these extensions but the most interesting things here is that you have some search tools that are pretty interesting so for example the events you have your administrative logs related to your server to application security system okay so all the logs that are related to your Windows Server you can have them here okay you also have a file and file sharing extension so it's kind of file explorer on a browser so okay so it allows you to navigate the directories in your server okay So you see the different uh, directories in your server 
and of course you can download it upload files to your server just from here you have also your file shares you can view them here if you want you can edit them you can add new share remove a share okay you have also firewall extension so all the things that are related to your firewall are here okay you can also view your installed application and remember all that is done remotely because here I am sitting on my workstation and I'm viewing all the related data to my server okay you can see also the processes that are running in your Windows server okay just from here and also you have access to PowerShell because you know PowerShell it's pretty useful when you're dealing with Windows server so you have actually access to your PowerShell you can execute command just from here you have also access to the registry just from this web interface you can see here the different uh, trees in your registry so you can import a key export a key add a value modify a value just from here you have also very interesting things is that you can have remote desktop just from this web page so you can connect to your server just here remotely okay and as I told you all the searchers are very useful to manage your server okay you can also view here your desks and your volume just from this web browser you can also see your updates that are pending or running in your server and as I told you all the search tools are in fact extensions so for example you see here we have some extensions related to Azure and I don't have Azure so if you want to get rid of them you have to go to this gear here okay and you go to your extensions here so from here you can see your extensions you can install an extension or remove an extension if you want so let me see here the installed extensions so let's get rid of for example Azure I don't need it so let's uninstall it here we go I can also remove this Azure file sync extension and also the hybrid Azure Center extension I don't need it also Azure Kubernetes okay so from here you can uninstall any extension that you don't need so let's return back to our Windows Server I have to enter another time my credentials here we go and now you will see I get rid of the Azure Sync Center extension that I removed from this interface. Okay. So as you can see, it's a very interesting tool that allows you to configure and also to troubleshoot your Windows Server's server. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.